months of life, which is not in the emergency room. It's in it's in long term care and catastrophic things like hearts and lungs and, and all that. Yeah. That's not emergency room care. That's long term care for very old people who are on the way to being okay. dead. Okay. Here okay. was my experience, Lars. I went to the ER. For I know. Three and nights everybody in a row. sees the ER. I, but, but, yeah. But in and terms you know of the how balance many? Sheet, Sixty percent of the people being treated are homeless people who I want to pay for their I want to pay for their low cost preventative insurance, so I don't pay for their stupid ER. Bills. I agree, but the problem <laughs> is, is that the theory of Obamacare is if you offer people this free health care, they'll be proactive. Do you know why most of those people are on the streets, destitute, not making much money? Because they're not proactive about their life. I, I don't agree. I think you don't think so? No, you think oh, all those people are homeless who can't make enough money? 60% of the newly insured are middle class who previously had jobs. The newly uninsured I, I are that. the middle but class. Those are, those are statistics that don't work. Yeah. What you're talking about is 300 million Americans. Now, do you get better efficiency by turning it over to government? Oh, well, I don't think government does anything oh, great. Hold on. If government hold writes on. the checks, then they're not running the show. But they do Medicare well. No, they don't. And they do Social Security well. Well, that we fundamentally disagree on. How do they do it well if they go to the doctor and say, we're the 900-pound gorilla, you're going to treat this old lady, and we're not going to pay you much money? No. That's well, how they do it. They don't. And they dump My all the paperwork <laughs> requirements on the doctor in his office. That's ah! True. But okay, now are you getting what you wanted? <laughs> yeah. no, that, isn't that true? Here, let's go back to being We're nice to one of our ethnic friends. <laughs> oh, man, we were going to roll real we shh. You really think Medicare does a good job? Is that why they I sell do. supplemental insurance? My father was insurance? just on Medicare, and I was Did you buy him away. supplemental insurance? No. I was you didn't. Blown away. He doesn't have Medicare Part D. No, I be, I'll I bet you money he's got Medicare Part D. Call your dad and ask him if he's got Medicare my Part dad D. Passed away. I'm but sorry. isn't that a good way to And shut Medicare him does off? such a good job. My dad died, Lars. <laughs> and that's what, and that's the kind of job you'll get with government health care. Right, but you get a kiss on the cheek. Find out. Make find out if he had Medicare Part D. I'll bet you he had the supplemental. I don't think he did. It's almost no. Almost nobody. Almost everybody has to buy it. Because it's, such, it's such bad insurance that everybody buys Medicare Part D. Can we at least get you guys strangling each other? That'd be great. Yeah, sure. <laughs> God, I love you. Guys. Well, you look taller than her in that. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. No, that's the one he's going to use. They're, they're you know not going to force you, Lars, to start getting it. Do you know how long it's going to take for Alpha? Can get alpha. Hold on. Alpha's going to look at their balance sheet and say, how much does it cost us to keep employees on? And how much does it cost us to throw them onto the government program? AT&T's already done this one. And you know what they figured out? It cost them $4.6 billion to cover all their employees because they have a lot of employees. If they dump all their employees and pay the fine, it costs them half a billion. Yeah, here's the problem. Most companies are deciding just not to cover at all. And then because we can't... That's my point. They're dumping them yeah. onto the government system. No, they're not going to pay at all. What I'm saying, if we don't get a good government system for the uninsured... There is no such thing as a good government system. I disagree. Amtrak, the post office, name a government program that runs well. Like I said, Medicare. Social Security. Medicare. Oh, Social Security is $37 trillion <laughs> and you think it runs well? <laughs> <laughs> I think it runs bad. I wanted to thank President Reagan for saving it, by the way. <laughs>